Hello everyone, I'm back. Again, my name is Sir Joel, your mathematics teacher. In our previous video, you've learned how to add similar fractions basically. This addition of similar fractions today will be more elaborated in our topic. But before that, as what I have promised, we will answer first the activity that I have given you in our previous video. Number 1. 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8, copy the denominator 8, then add 3 and 5 to get 8 over 8. Number 2. 4 over 13 plus 5 over 13, copy the denominator 13 and add 5 and 4 to get 9 over 13. Number 3. Copy the denominator 17 then add 6 and 9 in the problem 6 over 17 plus 9 over 17 to get 15 over 17. Number 4, 13 over 19 plus 15 over 19, copy the denominator 19, then add 13 and 15 to get 28 over 19. Number 5, 14 over 23 plus 18 over 23, copy the denominator 23, then add 14 and 18 to get 32 over 23. Number 6, 6 over 11 plus 5 over 11, copy the denominator 11, then add 6 and 5 to get 11 over 11. Number 7, 8 over 27 plus 13 over 27 plus 22 over 27, copy the denominator 27, then get the sum of 8, 13, and 22. To get 43 over 27. Number 8, 7 over 25 plus 9 over 25 plus 12 over 25. Copy the denominator 25, then add 7, 9, and 12 to get 28 over 25. Number 9, 5 over 18 plus 3 over 18 plus 1 over 18 plus 7 over 18. Copy the denominator 18, then find the sum of 5, 3, 1, and 7 to get 16 over 18. And last number, number 10, 4 over 13 plus 6 over 13 plus 1 over 13 plus 2 over 13. Copy the denominator 13 and add 4, 6, 1, and 2 to get 13 over 18. 13. <clears throat> okay, maybe some of you notice that some of our answers are not yet written in its lowest term, and some improper fractions are not yet converted into a mixed number. So lowest term, improper fraction to a mixed number are our topic for today's lesson. In one of the answers, we have eight over 8. If you notice, our numerator is equal to the denominator. I mean, the value of the numerator is equal to the value of the given denominator. Now, take note of this. If the numerator is equivalent to its denominator, then the answer is 1. Meaning to say, basta magkatulad ang numerator at denominator, kahit anong number pa yan, the answer is automatically 1. Another answer is 9 over 13. Do you think 9 over 13 is already written in its lowest term? So to check, let us try. In here, 9 over 13 is called a proper fraction. Being a proper fraction, to simplify it, we need to look for a common divisor of 9 and 13. But take note, it's just not simply a common divisor. It should be a greatest common divisor of the numerator 9 and the denominator 13. So how? 
Let's find out. When you say 9, how can we get 9? So we can get 9 from 1 times 9. And aside from this, it's from 3 times 3. Tama? And for 13, you can get 13 1 times 13. So no more, no less. If you notice, in 9 and 13, the only common factor is 1. And since the common factor of 9 and 13 is only 1, therefore, 9 over 13 in its lowest term is simply 9 over 13. Meaning to say, pag walang ibang common factor other than 1, meaning that fraction is already written in its lowest term. Another answer is 16 over 18. Is 16 over 18 already written in its lowest term? Let's find out. Again, 16 over 18 is a sample of a proper fraction. And being a proper fraction, you'll need to find out the greatest common divisor of 16 and 18. Again, to look for its greatest common divisor, you'll need to find the factors of 16 and 18 first. In 16, we can get it through 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. For 18, you can get it through 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. Let's take a look at their factors. In 16 and 18, they are common by 1. So as by 2. A while ago, we've said that you are looking for the greatest common divisor. So, the common factors of 16 and 18 are 1 and 2. Which of these two is greatest? Of course, the answer is 2. If that's the case, 16 over 18 then should be divided by its common factor 2. So, therefore, 16 over 18 now becomes what? 8 over 9. And 8 over 9 is the lowest term of the fraction 16 over 18. Another answer that we've got is 28 over 19. What is this 28 over 19? This is a sample of an improper fraction simply because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, since it is an improper fraction, you'll need to divide the numerator by its denominator first. So, what is 28 divided by 19? How many 19 in 28? There is one 19 in 28. And 28 minus 19 is 9. And since you cannot divide 9 by 19, so the answer is simply 1 with a remainder of 9. Therefore, 28 over 19 now is equivalent to 1 and 9, 19. Now, 9 over 19 is a proper fraction. Do you think 9 over 19 is already written in its lowest term? Let's find out. For 9, you can obtain its factors through 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. For 19, you can obtain its factors through 1 times 19 only. Now, if you look at the factors of 9 and 19, the only common factor is 1. If that's the case, 9 over 19 then is already written in its lowest term. So therefore, 28 over 19 is simply equivalent to 1 and 9 over 19. Another answer that we've got is 16 over 12. 16 over 12 
again, is an example of an improper fraction. Since it is an improper fraction, we will divide the numerator by its denominator. So, how many 12 in 16? There is one 12 in 16. What is 16 minus 12? The answer is 4. Since you cannot divide 4 by 12, then 16 divided by 12, therefore, is equivalent to 1 with a remainder of 4. Now, 16 over 12 can be written as 1 and 4 over 12. Okay, if you look at the fraction 4 over 12, is 4 over 12 already written in its lowest term? Let us check. What are the factors of 4? So you can obtain the factors of 4 through 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. For 12, the factors of 12 can be obtained through 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So the common factors between 4 and 12 are 1, 2, and 4. So there are three common factors of 4 and 12, or between 4 and 12. But the greatest common factor of 4 and 12 here is 4. So if that's the case, we will divide 4 and 12 by its greatest common factor 4. 4 will become what? 1 and 12 will become 3. So instead of 1 and 4 over 12, it is now equivalent to 1 and 1 third. Therefore, 16 over 12 now is equivalent to 1 and 1 third. Okay, now it's time for you to answer our next exercises or activity. Paano natin ito gagawin? At first, try to get the sum of these similar fractions. And after getting its sum, check whether your answers are already written in its lowest term. If not, try to get its lowest term. And if it is an improper fraction, try to convert it into a mixed number. So, good luck! Alam kung kaya nyo yan. Pinagsama lang natin ang first video and this video para sa exercises na ito. Bye-bye! Thank you!